Hey you guys, let's say Shea go first this time. Okay. Do you like the new dorms? Have you or the new facility? Have you been in there? And uh, what, what's that going to be like? I've, I've actually been in the in the new uh, dormitories or apartments uh, uh, probably a minimum of a hundred times in the last uh, year uh, since they've broken ground. Uh, they're fantastic. You know, and, and, you know, there's a lot going on on our campus with, with the DeBruce Center, obviously, with the business school and, and with McCarthy Hall right here on Naismith Drive. That's going to change the look of this side of campus. And, and I don't know if you guys know the other student housing projects that they've done on campus. It's, it's a pretty exciting time but with, with all the growth that's going on. So uh, a great time to be a student here. And our, our players are certainly going to benefit from the efforts of many that, that went before them to, to uh, generate the, the, uh, the interest level to do something like what uh, uh, we've been able to do. So it, 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 it is, it's fabulous, and, and, and we should move in the middle of next week. So uh, uh, we're, we're very excited about it. Being there 100 times, uh, does that make you a micromanager? No, well, I don't tell anybody what to do. Uh, 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 I think a micromanager would be somebody that would look over somebody's shoulder and tell them what they're doing wrong. I, I, I'm just impressed every every time I go over there. You know, it's it's hard for me because I don't have the vision that an architect or, or a builder would have to, to uh, uh, look at something that's in its infant stages and see an end result. Uh, but now you can, I mean, without question. I mean, every day it changes. And, and uh, uh, obviously, uh, we hired the right architect and we hired the right builder. And, and uh, you know, they've, they've both done a great job in, in expediting it and getting us in in basically less than a year's time. What do you expect from Perry this season? Well, I expect him to be as good as or better than any player in the league. Uh, I expect him to play to an All-American type level. Uh, I think he's capable of doing that. I, th I thought last year, before he got hurt, there was about a six-game stretch where I think he was playing to an All-American uh, level. Uh, uh, he seems to be in the best shape of his life. He's stronger. Uh, and I don't mean from a weight standpoint, but you, you can just tell he just the way he carries himself. He's stronger and, and more confident. Uh, uh, I, I expect him to have a big year, uh, and and when I say that, you know, I expect other players to have comparable type years to Perry. I mean, Wayne's teased us and showed us what he can do because he was by far the best player uh, in the tournament in South Korea in the entire tournament uh, this past uh, this past summer. And then Frank, to me, has has shown that he's he's very capable of taking the next step. So, uh, and we got other guys too, but but those three, I, I hope, all play to an all league type level. Steve came over here 17, kind of skinny, didn't know anybody, didn't know the culture. Now, a year later, a lot of that has changed. Uh, what are your ex expectations for him this year? Well, I, you know, it's it's we kind of got a crowded house, you know, back there. There's there's we got we got some good players, that, uh, but. Svi potentially is, I, I think, from what NBA people think, they think he's probably as good a prospect as we have in the backcourt. Uh, uh, so, so, and, and I, I do think he can be that too. He, you're, you hit it on the head. He's so much stronger. He's a different guy from a maturity and and uh, and from a, a confidence standpoint. So, I ex I expect him. You know, it's it's hard to say. You expect certain guys to do certain things if, if, in fact, that they may not be starters. But, but I expect Sfi to play challenge for a starting position and and, uh, and be uh, uh, without question if he doesn't start, be as good as any reserve in the country. Uh, uh, but, but uh, you know, he, he's a guy that's got, you know, he, he he's pretty good at he was he was pretty good when he got here and then didn't have an unbelievable year. I think a lot of it was just maturity and strength. He's he's a he's a really good player now, and he and, and he's going to be a better player moving forward. So, uh, uh, few guys have a bigger upside than upside than what Svi does. I know there are limitations on what Aaron Miles can do, but just in terms of talking with uh, Devontae yeah. Graham, would you expect that to be a, a good thing? I, 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 yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, Aaron's presence, uh, uh, even from not a basketball standpoint, just from a uh, uh, a leadership standpoint is is going to be uh, good for Devonte, and it's going to re be really good for Frank. Um, you know, I, we hated it when Aaron got hurt, but but certainly I, I've said all along that when he was done, uh, that I would want to bring him back in some capacity. And and you know, this may be just a short term deal because if he gets healthy and can go play, he should go play as long as he can. But but uh, but for this year, it's it's going to be great to have he and Mickey and uh, and their family you know, part of our family. And I know that, that uh, our players certainly 
respect him, and, and uh, he'll be nothing but a huge asset for us. Wayne's extremes have been yeah. quite quite a variance there. Do you see that leveling out, maybe some, and especially after the way you played in Korea? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I, you know, the, the thing about it is with Wayne, w Wayne to me, you know, I even looked at our Korean stats uh, 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 this year, this summer, and, and, you know, he played really, really well, and he actually shot the ball no better from three than what he did last year. But what he did was he drove the ball. He got fouled. He, 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 he forced help, and, and he played to his athletic ability and his strength. And that's what I, that's what I think. If Wayne relies on being a jump shooter to play good, he's going to be inconsistent. Most players are. Uh, but if he, if, he, if he relies on his athletic ability and his aggressiveness to play to his athletic ability, I, th I think consistency will come, and I, I think he can impact, impact us in a, in a much bigger way than what he has the first two years. What is that noise? <laughs> Good gosh. Whose phone is that? Bill, uh, we've asked you a lot about Sheck in the offseason, obviously, but how can you make you guys better just on the floor? Well, he, he's, a, he's an athlete. Uh, I don't know if you guys – I don't know if you took any pics of him, but, you know, from a length standpoint, I mean, he's seven five width, I mean, I mean length, and, and uh, there's not too many guys out there plus eight. Uh, you know, from height to, to his, his actually length. And, and so he's plus eight inches. And so and he's, he's an athlete. He's, he's quick twitch. He's got a motor. But he doesn't know how to play yet. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll give us things from an intangible standpoint. He'll change the culture of practice because he'll play so hard. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll keep balls alive that maybe we didn't keep balls and live in past years. He'll, he'll do things that, that won't show up in, 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 the, in the stat sheet that you think, why did we just have a great possession there? And it's basically because he kept two balls alive or he ran to, so hard that forced help or, or, or he sprinted to a ball screen and it was a loose hedge. I mean, there's going to be so many things that he can do from an energy standpoint that will make us better, and, and he should be a good rim protector. Uh, I haven't seen it yet because he hasn't been out there. You know, he's just cleared to practice yesterday. Uh, but I haven't seen it yet, but hopefully he'll be a great rim protector. And, and the other thing that he can do that, that has been surprisingly uh, uh, good for us is that he's a good shooter. You know, the knock on him is that he, he wasn't really skilled, and, and he's much more skilled than what a lot of people give him credit for. So that's exciting for us moving forward. Last year you guys sort of struggled with the interior scoring. Um, is there solutions there? internal improvement or just personnel or where do you, um, you know I, I, th I think it's a combination I think that you know I, I got to do a better job of of uh, making our guys and teaching our guys how to get position and 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 uh, and the other thing is we've got to do a much better job on the perimeter of being able to feed our post you know we, you look at it the last two years we played with one guard and and uh, and that seems kind of weird but you know you know Wayne coming in was a was a He's a he's he's a prototypical two guard, but when he get got here, he's he's really a three. Wiggs was a three. Kelly Oubre's a three, and these guys weren't natural as far as just being able to feed to post and play to angles and things like that. So we'll be I think we'll be much better at that this year, and I think we'll be a much better passing team, uh, especially because we'll play two little guards a lot together. And Bill, for a kid like like Carlton, true freshman coming in. Seems like it'd be a big change right now, but I almost feel like he's older because he got to go to Korea and play yeah, with Yeah, I right? think so. I think he and LeGerald are, are definitely a lot better off having made the trip uh, and worked out with this over the summer. Not that we put in a ton of stuff and not that that's the tell-all by any means, but just from a culture standpoint, I, th I think that they're, they're, they're much more equipped to, to be able to contribute early in their freshman year because they know what, know what to uh, know what we expect. And, and, and Carlton, uh, is one of the most talented big guys we've had since I've been here. Uh, offensively, I was, you know, Marcus Moore's type. Uh, he's, he's one of those guys that has that type of skill. Uh, so, uh, and it's going to take time, but, but certainly uh, I think he has a chance to be a special guy. Coach, is there anything to be said for the intangible idea of learning how to finish off the tournament, how to win it? After the grueling grind they went through in Korea against some good teams, and they actually they not only just played well, but won the gold medal. Is there, uh, is there 
Okay. Learning how to win as a team. Yeah. Yeah. Finish it yeah. That That's one thing that we've actually done a great job of is is, is uh, over the years is is we've won we've really won a lot of close games. Uh, uh, you know, last year uh, the way our season ended, it, it didn't have anything to do with us not knowing how to. It was something to do with the other team being better than us uh, on that particular day, without question. Uh, so so. But I, I do think there's a, you know, if you look at Korea and you count the games in the Sprint Center, uh, you know, there were the 10 games we played, there were eight of them that were decided in the last couple of minutes. So learning how to win close games uh, is good. But I don't know if it's so much the, the tactical stuff of learning how to win close games is having the mental toughness, knowing you're going to make plays to learn how to win close games. You've had other real complimentary teams. Does this one have a – Opportunity to do that size shooting. It seems like there's a lot of kind of a lot, a lot of different parts. Yeah, I think I think we're I think we're deeper than what we have been. You know, you you can look at teams and say, well, they they look really deep, and then as you get into the season, you only really play seven or eight, and you're really not quite as deep as what what you thought you originally would be. It, it's going to be hard this year figuring out who to play, uh, and that's what I tried to explain to our players yesterday. Uh, um, you know, we got you know. Obviously, uh, Dwight's not part of it, you know, this year. Uh, and with his injury, he wouldn't be anyway. But but certainly, red shirt, he's not part of it. But we, we got 12 pretty good guys. And and, and 12's not going to play. And 10 may not play. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I, I do think that we have some some um, some nice pieces. But I, I, the thing I like about it as much as anything is if, if you know, somebody's not doing what they can do to help our team win, it's not going to be that difficult to try to give somebody else an opportunity to do that. So with that being said, hopefully we'll be much better defensively and, and, and we'll play a style and, and, and that, that will give us a better chance to be more complete, a little tougher and things like that. Because, you know, you know it, it, it's okay to put Brandon in. It's okay to put Svee in. It's, it's okay to put Hunter in or Jamari in or, or or uh, landing in. I mean, those that that's okay to do that. Those are good players. It's proven that they can do good things when they're in there. So, you know, it's it's. Uh, I think it's pretty exciting, and and the guys know that there's going to be more competition in the gym during our practice sessions than what we've had in a while. I asked uh, Mickelson what he did to earn more playing time in Korea, and he said, uh, "Yeah, better bring in energy." What's the difference between energy and hustle? Does it mean the same thing? Uh, well, I, I think it's kind of the same thing. A lot of people think they compete if they try real hard. Um, trying hard does not mean you compete. Trying hard is the baseline. Everybody should do that. Uh, uh, but 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 having you know competing is is playing each possession to win. Uh, uh, obviously, thinking is a huge part of competing. And and whether it be it could be anything from from screening angles to carrying out assignments you can play hard and not do those things but when you're competing you're focused in on doing those things uh, uh and i think hunters learned how to compete more and and also energy is contagious i mean it's one thing to play hard but it's another thing to play hard in a manner which it uplifts your teammates uh, and and i think like like to me frank can do that but sometimes frank doesn't always do that uh, uh but yeah you know, you can you can really tell somebody that's valuable a team if they're an energy giver, and and I, and I do think that um, we have some guys and, and every team does that try real hard that really aren't energy givers, uh, uh, but but guys that are real energy givers, it's amazing. You just everybody seems to be lighter on their feet when you're around them, and and I think Hunter's learning how to do that. You said. The perimeter is pretty crowded. What does Vic do well, and any chance that we redshirt? Uh, oh, I don't even know. I mean, we hadn't even talked about that as of now. What kind no, of he's a, he's a, he's a uh, uh, he can make a shot without question, but he's a slasher, an athlete, quick twitch kid. He's going to be really good, you know. But but he's got a lot of stuff to learn, and he's got some experience ahead of him. But but uh, Legerald is he could be a great defender, you know, if if he can figure it out, he could be a great as good. As good a defender as we have. What are you looking forward to at, at late night? What are we looking forward to? Yeah. Uh, um, was it you look forward to cutting a check? I understand. So. I yeah, can't wait. You know, we're we're actually. I don't know if you guys are. Do we put a release out about that? So we're, we're doing that, and and uh, uh, you know, so if if you're picked, 
uh, if, if you know everybody's going to get a chance, every every guy and 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 uh, uh, lady will get a chance. If you're picked, you can pick anybody in the gym or yourself to shoot two half court shots, with the exception of our present team and our recruits. Uh, 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 and and you know, so Brendan Bouchard could shoot it for you, or Aaron Miles could shoot it for you, or whatever. If Darnell, Gert, well, who would want that? Okay. <laughs> All right, it'd take ten minutes to get him to half court to shoot it for you. But 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 it, but there, whoever could shoot it, and and then if you make one of two, you know we're gonna scribble off a a, a ten thousand dollar check. So so uh, to both the guy and the gal. So so uh, so they both have a chance. So that that sh that should be fun, and uh, and certainly. Uh, uh, but the biggest thing is for us. It, it obviously it's it's a our guys. Our guys have gotten to the point where it's something that they look forward to each and every year, and it's a great way to kick off our season. Um, and and also from a from a fan standpoint, and there's a chance I'm sure we'll have a recruit to in the audience. It, it, it it's a fun night for them to get a feel of what Kansas basketball can actually be like. Coach, since uh, Sheck has been cleared to practice, does that mean he's cleared to participate in late night as well? Yeah, yeah late night is practice. So so yeah, so that that's absolutely no problem. And and and. and I'm, I'm sure you guys have asked Sheck, but but Sheck's situation is you know it's it's really not complicated. He's been he's been cleared to practice, uh, uh, pending the 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 uh, uh, whatever they decide and whatever we present to the NCAA and whatever their decision is uh, on that. So so it, it doesn't mean that it's permanent. It doesn't mean anything other than the fact that we still have to do our job. And, and, and they have to give a ruling on where they stand on the situation, and that hasn't happened yet. So uh, we're excited that he's not going to be behind from a practice standpoint uh, uh, because he is going to be allowed to, to go. And, and uh, you know, he obviously needs that because he missed, he missed the summer, and then, and then uh, you know, he's missed the last three weeks as well. Do they give you any sense of a timeline at all? Uh, no, no, not really. But, but, it, but it's not a negative thing because – uh, part of the sense is, is uh, you know, we're, we're still gathering and presenting stuff to them. So it's, you know, you can't really give a decision if you don't have the information in front of you. So it's, you know, we, we, we hope it's sooner rather than later. I've said that all along, but I don't know that there's any indication that there'll be an exact timeline uh, other than the fact, you know, I'm sure it'll be done before the season starts, you know. Each situation is different. We had to, you had to kind of deal with yeah. these kinds of things routinely. Does it get frustrating or? Yeah, yeah, th yeah. It gets very frustrating. Time yeah, it's time consuming, uh, and and it is frustrating, uh, but it's, it's 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 not as much frustration for us as it is for the the individual, the kid. I mean, you stop and think about a, an 18 year old kid that you know, you know, it comes from Africa. And and, and uh, been here for three and a half years, and, and does what he's asked to do, and all of a sudden, you know, he's got goals, he's got dreams, you know, all these things that are hinging on this, and and find out that that you know that may not con ever come to be. So, yeah, there's a stress involved, a lot of stress, and and, and sure, we want to win games, but not more important than what's in the best interest of the of the, the young man. So, uh, we've had cases. Uh, where this has happened, uh, where it didn't work out great for us the, or the teacher, i.e. Ben and Jamari. And then we've had other cases where it has worked out good uh, for us and, and, and the student-athlete. And, and this one is one that we're hopeful, uh, obviously, but, but, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll get, a, we'll get a, a fair ruling on it. But, but this, this one's a little unique in, in, in its own way because there's – it's it's a it's a very unique situation when you're dealing with 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 uh, with someone like Sheck that's basically totally naive to everything going on around him, and and all he's done is just do what people have told him to do and what he need to do, and so it, it's it's a it's a little bit hard for him to understand uh, exactly what's going on, but but uh, everybody's on top of it. Everybody knows exactly what they should do. We understand it's time. Nobody complained about it. So. Anything else? When, when you do have late night, uh, do you kind of make an appeal to the fans to come, or do you just assume they're going to come because it's KU basketball? Well, I, I think, you know, it's always been good. But, but, you know, we had a problem. You guys know last two years ago when Wiggs was a freshman, <coughs> we turned away about 5,000, and so they kind of changed how they handled things. And I think that scared people from coming last year. And we had bad weather, and we had an accident, I believe, that on, on – uh, 
K10 that that uh, that kind of slowed some things down, but uh, but I, I everything's been rectified. It's it's basically back the way it used to be, and we're going to have better security to make sure that there's not cutting in line and things like that that there was a couple of years ago. So uh, yeah, I, I would appeal to everyone to to know to just to say, don't assume that that you can't get in. Assume that you can and you will because you know the. Because you will be able to, and and uh, and it should be a, it should be a really fun night.